most people think of a casino, health and wellness generally isn't the first thing to cross their mind. For my internship, I wanted to target a business that doesn't typically have healthy work environments. researched and created a health and wellness program to increase the level of awareness and to initiate behavioral change within the employees and management at Bonanza Casino. I interviewed health managers from three different industries, healthcare, mining, and gaming, to gain understanding of the processes they followed to implement their respective health and wellness programs. Why did you decide to implement a health and wellness program? We decided that we wanted an active and healthy workforce. Um, this makes sense for us both financially and ethically. Ethically, it helps us lower insurance costs, um, plus employees are better fit to do their jobs. What process did you go through to sort and select the wellness program best fit for your company? We pretty much knew the direction we wanted to go in. Um, so after a few meetings with insurance companies and upper management, um, we went to the one that best fit our goal. How do you sustain your health and wellness program? When hiring professionals, we focus on recruiting talent that aligns with our goals. How many types of health and wellness programs did you consider before you made your selection? Oof. We went through a process of probably 40 different vendors. Oh, wow. <laughs> and just, you know, different programs that they had to offer. And actually, we don't use specifically one vendor. We use multiple vendors right. that report in to a vendor. What criteria did you establish to assess the various health and wellness options? Well, we started a few years ago with um, requiring, not requiring, but asking everybody to participate in a biometric screening. We incentivized that by, you know, offering maybe like a hundred dollar bonus, taxable bonus. But that way, the more participation we could get, we could start looking at what our numbers look like to decide right. what types of programs that we needed to focus on. For your employees, if you were to do like a health and wellness program, would you expect to see benefits from a wellness initiative and do you see potential value of health promotion within your organization? Well, you know, the obvious and immediate benefit, you know, that I would hope to see would be decreased absenteeism, you know, having people here that aren't out sick. You know, when people are out sick, we lose productivity. Um, with your hourly employees, it forces you into an overtime situation with your remaining staff. Um, so that certainly costs us money. With your salaried employees, it just lost productivity, right? We're still paying. The specific health issue I am targeting is the physical environment in which the casino employees work and their own attitudes towards their health. a health and wellness program that the management of Bonanza Casino is interested in implementing. I do imagine that you could ramp up pretty quickly on something like this and I don't I don't think that you would have to roll out a hundred percent of it instantly to be effective. It's like when you build a hotel, right, you got to finish it before you take your first guess, but in a health and wellness program if it were something as simple as the first rollout is making sure come fall that all your employees are protected with flu, flu shots you know, why couldn't that be this fall? Gaming is one of the most prominent industries in Nevada, but that does not mean it has to be one of the unhealthiest. Be proactive. Don't gamble with your health. 